Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. Alright, we are down in Sunset Beach, California today and there's supposed to be kind of a fun art exhibit down on the beach. So we're going to go check that out and let's see what we can see. This is going to be fun. Let's go. Alright, so this place is called BYOB. It's wind times made from recycled and vintage bottles. Actually it works pretty well, huh? That's really cool. Some kind of neat glass paintings. Look at that. It looks like a wave. The Grateful Dead. Beth has been giving me hassle about taking flashback. Maybe I wonder if she'll accept that as an exchange. Probably not. This reminds me of some of the festivals they have in Waco where it's just all sorts of vendors selling different kinds of things. More of an LA flair though. A lot of really cool uh, seascapes here. This is obviously very influenced by the beach which is just literally on the other side of these houses. Tortilla warmers and jewelry and all sorts of fun thing here. Beautiful work, a lot of like brass and chrome. <laughs> Check out the little tiki, tiki dude here. Like I said, a lot of stuff inspired by the ocean, which I mean, you know, like I said, that's to be expected where we are in Sunset Beach after all. Kind of fun minerals and crystals, jewelry. A lot of mermaid stuff here. Look at these wood turned bowls here. Beautiful stuff. It's hard to tell is that wood or is it glass? Little glass mobiles and wind chimes. Made out of seashells, all that fun stuff. Little brass things. Oh yeah, now we're getting into the tie-dyed stuff here. I, I, I really like some of these uh, tie-dyed stuff. It's way more vi uh, vivid colors than I've ever been able to get out of the stuff I've done. Really intense colors. I love some of this glass work they do here. So little plants and shells and driftwood and stuff like that. You can just about make anything out of anything here. Look at all the jewelry and stones made out of amber. Beautiful stuff.
kind of stuff with some kind of an Asian feel to it. Check out those chairs. How cool is that? I guess it's not Asian, more uh, Hawaiian. The meaning of aloha. But they got the Buddha. Abalone rings. In case you ever wanted one of those. The turquoise. Different just natural stones. Look at the stained glass here. Oh, it is? I think so. So. How you doing, man? Good, okay, how are you? We're going to see you in a little bit. We're going to go say hi to Kevin. Okay, yeah. Now you got evidence, huh? Yeah, right? <laughs> love the yellow submarine. That's beautiful. Don't I love it. Don't let that soul sign scare you. <laughs> I get outbid him. Is that the deal? Well, no. We, the, everything oh. is custom order. Oh, okay. Yeah, so a lot of the stuff I... I sold these before, like when I got here. So, like, right. you know, I, I'm not going to let you take them for the weekend. But if right. If you them here, I'll... I'll uh, so a lot of the stuff will all be custom order. Some of it, I mean, a lot of it you can take today, but. Right, yeah, the ones that don't say sold on them, huh? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the ones that don't. Aren't you traveling? I took that photograph in 1975. That's, that's a great, that's a great photo. A lot of interesting artwork here. A couple like, uh, Disney related things in the background there. That's kind of a cool one of the Golden Gate Bridge. A bamboo wind chime. Look at these bowls. How awesome is that? Yes, those are like spikes or something that go into the lawn. All made out of clay. Really nice. Cool dog stuff. What happens if you have a cool dog? Look at some of these sculptures. These are really neat. This is kind of cool. He's making lamps out of things, and basically they're all set up so you touch them and the lights come on and off. Yeah, so you I gotta pick the ones that are plugged in, though. Yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. Really neat. Look at all this, all this great stuff. I got that one, and I got this. I got a I found this. Those are great. And hopefully, you can put stuff in. It's funny, some of them are plugged in and some of them are not, so it encourages people to go touch everyone to see if they come on. A lot of really fun artists here. Just kind of doing really kind of cool things that you can uh, bring home with you if you want. All right, this place has different types of jerky that you can buy. Gluten-free jerky, beef brisket jerky. And Carolina Reaper and ghost pepper jerky. Wonder if this person is going to regret having parked here. Yeah, I think there's the primary culprit right there. Local high school is selling some of their ceramic pieces. That just supports starving artists. Or at least as starving as they are at uh, Huntington Beach High School. Yeah, everybody needs one of those. And I guess this is kind of the eating place here, the food court, if you will. Because all of a sudden we've moved out of the merchandise and moved into areas where you can get stuff to eat.
Indian food. I got kind of a barbecue place over there. Let's see what we got over here. Crafts for the kids for Mother's Day. Tomorrow's Mother's Day, so that's kind of the big theme here. Oh, and we got a petting zoo. How awesome is that? Guess so you can go in and feed them here too. That way, that's why the animals all seem so friendly and affectionate. They're hungry. Oh, look at the little piggies. Check out the goats. And the sheep. Guess he's camera shy. His throw, he's got a nice throw. Yeah. It was a straight up. That's right, going where the food is. We're just not as exciting out here. Well, I gotta admit, I've gotten separated from my group a little bit. I'm gonna have to find them eventually because they're my ride home. like this guy's ready to party and you know I can't get this close to the beach without actually coming out and seeing it spent a lot of time down here in Sunset Beach probably go all the way down to the water just because I can it's actually a nice day out here today. A couple days ago when I was over at the uh, Friendship Bell, you remember how overcast it was? Yeah, that's sort of what it looks like when it all burns off. Oh, there's that ocean smell again. guard towers this is how you always identified where you wanted to meet on the beach yeah we're gonna be near lifeguard tower number 12 or number nine looks like it's a, looks like they're missing a couple of them here I don't know look at all the cargo ships offshore there that didn't used to be part of the skyline Looks like we're relatively close to low tide because high tide kind of comes up to here. Look at all the birds along the shore there looking for something to eat. Running away from the water. We're gonna have to run back here. <laughs> that one got too close. So 
usually when you get these like one two waves that they really come in a long ways. I think this is probably going to be the end of our video. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.